record. 29 victories, including 27 knockouts. Only two defeats from Margarita. Santa Fe, Argentina. The top ranked super lightweight contender in the world. Marcos. You're the reason why. I got him, baby. Losing my mind. And fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white. Obviously weighing also 140 pounds. His professional record. 51 victories against 35 knockouts. Six to be. He has six world titles in his career. Ladies and gentlemen, the former super bantamweight world champion. Cadet. For him. That arrogance would be seen as comical under these circumstances. Well, he had a thing where he got tagged one good shot, he wanted to come back with two of his own. And it stopped opponents from creating real momentum against him. But he seems unable to do that here against Maidana. He's just keeping the momentum. Morales trying to fight his way oh. back off the rope, and he lands a big Good right, hand. right hand from Morales. Absolutely huge right Wild hand. Maidana. And suddenly Maidana has been knocked back. And now he's aware he's in a fight. And the crowd goes very enthusiastically up in volume for the Tijuana Star. How long can Morales stand up again? Before Morales. It's totally closed up. I'm talking about Eric Morales. Who win rounds one and two? Eric Morales. He's being left up. Particularly if Maidana's moving in that direction of the eye. The guy who's been most hurt in this fight 
was Maidana by that right. Experiences a long association with the new trainer, Rudy Perez, stop, because stop, stop. her brawler to a superior skilled boxer puncher. And you have to assume that Perez had something to do with that. Sophisticated boxer puncher, but even just adding a few wrinkles, a few changes in his... With the way he can punch, it only takes one or two from Maidana. Good feint by Morales. Maidana, however, walked through it and came back. Now he has to walk through another one as Morales oh. lands a good right. But there's a vicious uppercut oh. and a vicious left hook, and Morales has to fight back against Pacquiao whenever those exchanges would take place. Those little left hooks inside from Maidana. He's so physically strong. Not Maidana's December opponent, Amir Khan. A great jabber would be going after that swollen eye with it. And having limited success at times. Trying to stay in the middle and throw shorter, straighter shots. Maidana's a rough customer, and here he is roughing Morales up. There are two uppercuts, a left hook to the body, a left hook to the head. Left hook for Morales. Crowd loves that. his youth in the old days when he fought off the ropes like that it's five six seven eight punches this is not just today tonight with my daughter this is throughout Morales' comeback yeah, stop 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 my Donna intelligently using his size and strength the kind of ring intelligence my Donna exhibits is important to him because he's not creative he doesn't have many chances. If he sees something working, he sticks with it. If something's a guy up, and finds something that will. And he walks through every, whatever you deliver to him by and large. So basically, Maidana is more or less doubling what Morales does, both in terms of punches thrown and punches landed. Well, he's following Rudy Perez's instructions in the corner, Maidana is not loading up a ton and just moving his hands. Looks like Morales those instructions wins backfire. The trade. Morales wins the trade and backs Maidana away. The older fighter shows greater hand speed in the exchange. Well, as Maidana was lightening up on the shots to throw more of us. Not surprising that the veteran star would find the weaknesses in Maidana's craft. Now if he can find a weakness in my When you're favored by six to one, just to use an old stock phrase, when you're favored by six to one, you've got the smart money. Seems to have sentimental money, if any, behind him. That's right. But hard right hand over the top by Morales. Maybe his best punch of the fight. But whoever did bet him maybe isn't so upset at this moment that they did. My daughter over. Oh. oh, these are hard shots for Morales. And accurate. A last stand by Morales, perhaps. Oh, the aging warrior teaching the young star a thing or two about hand speed and combination punching. Has those straight right hands right on Maidana's chin are highly effective. And here comes Maidana. This round has waked the arena up. Thought. What a round. That fight. Seen the anticipated body attack from Morales, but I'll tell you this, that left jab that he's throwing, like right there, is landing like a straight right hand. He seems to be moving, and, and there was a straight right hand, moving and wobbling Maidana, not just with that right hand on the chin, which he's landing accurately, but also with a stiff left jab. All right, I've got Maidana winning by one point. Max Kellerman gave him the second round. I got boxing glove. It hurts a puncher. Personally, I think it's hurting Maidana. Three to two. You score them round by round, and sometimes what you have at the end of the evening isn't what you felt you were scoring. Midway through the fight, and Maidana seems to be slowing down while Morales seems yep. when his right eye swelled immediately. Morales. But we'll see if he can continue this pace in the face of Maidana's pressure. Maidana keeps walking to you. Keeps bringing the pressure. Keeps getting Morales hit. Keeps it 
but I have to say it is a pleasure to watch an old great champion like this put up this kind of fight. He just took a hard right hand shot and took a breath afterward and appeared to have been more affected by that punch yes. than by any other shot he's taken from Maidana and Maidana seems to know it and the old warrior fights back again. He's never known any other way. He's never held for a moment. He's never tried to get away from combat. He's always fought his way out. Once was, but what made Morales great was what was on the inside, and that's still there. Look at that. His final moments. 58th fight of Eric Morales. Yeah, between the two of them, I believe it's Maidana the most hurt at various moments of this fight. They're going to go to war in there. These last five rounds, if the fight goes the distance, could be special. And have been. shot by Madonna, backs Morales off, second hard body shot before the bell. Morales throwing the kind of right hand where he won his first belt from Daniel Zaragoza, the right hand to the body seemed to take the starch, and then the left hook up top seemed to take the starch, there you see, out of round, but it hasn't happened. Oh, huge left hook, Madonna's holding on. Madonna is still in trouble as he stands in the corner and waits. Morales looking for another opportunity. Another straight left lands for Morales. Eric Morales at the moment with the upper hand in a fight of the year candidate against Marcos Maidana. An amazing show by the 34-year-old star who had been counted out by most. Trading with impunity against the 27-year-old punching sensation of the division. Huge right hand by Maidana. Morales takes it very well. What a right hand by Madonna was wobbled and seemed in trouble. Another right hand by Madonna. Oh, the uppercut on the inside. See, and the and hook. A big left hand by Morales. As fast as Madonna, and then is in great shape and comes right back, but it's not as though he's not. Here's Morales with the. Uh, left hook right on the button and look how he changed the trajectory of that punch in order to make it more accurate our punches in the eighth round morales was 11 of 18. seven and eight i got it four rounds apiece 76 76 all even but i gotta tell you something jim you said something i'm breathing in jim somehow that i think he's breathing through his nose and he really looks winded with rudy perez without rudy perez i think he's in bad shape however he has just seized command and strafed Morales with a series of about 12 power punches. And right now, Maidana believes that he's trying to finish the fight. Stop, stop, stop. I mean, my... All of a sudden, Maidana has found a oh, second win. Oh. Look at him take Morales' hard shots. Eric Morales. Unbelievable. When you see greatness. I don't think there's a soul in the arena who believed that Marcus Maidana versus Eric Morales was going to become a serious candidate for fight of the year. And yet it is. Not to mention upset of the year if this continues, potentially. Well, I, I don't know. Nova here in Nishida, Ishida knocking out James Kirkland in round one. That's the go by Morales. That right eye has now swelled up like a golf ball, or maybe even a tennis ball. And sometimes Morales doesn't if any at all from that right eye and he's fighting this fight oh, the uppercuts jim are the punches i think that have had the best effect for morales in terms of staggering maidana he looks frustrated after them his legs lock up he wobbles frequently
replay this exchange. Maybe we should just replay the whole fight. Uh, something tells me we will be in the not-too-distant future. First, Maidana throwing big shots. Morales taking a lot of the sting out of them by riding with them. Then Morales coming back with more accurate straight shots that seem to do a little more damage. The whole fight like this. Well, it's a tough round to score, but I don't disagree with the score. Either way. To think that Eric Morales would be here in a tough fifth round, that was almost unfathomable. To think that he could do it was unfathomable. It also points out how his personality, the confidence, the arrogance, to him the hypothetical question. You're at Canastota. Oh. Well, we can't talk about it now because he's not. Are Marco Antonio Barrera and Manny Pacquiao? Which one do you want? Finally, after a while, he said, maybe Pacquiao. Could be a fourth fight between Morales and Barrera. At this moment, it's hard to imagine that Barrera could be competitive against the Morales we're looking at right now. Also, just as great a fighter with just the same kind of heart. Barrera's trainer, oh. Rudy Perez, oh. is training Maidana tonight. Maidana just landed two Titanic. giant shots. Massive power punches, and Morales held on. He only wants to win the last 10 seconds and win the round. Don't show him that. Close your eyes. You feel like you got him? Everybody's in favor of Maidana. I don't think you're going to get it. You need to knock him out. Yeah, at the last seconds, even the referee's against you. Here we see Maidana at the end of the round. Look at where he brings that left uppercut from, I guess. With two rounds to go. Agreed. I thought Morales won the round. If Morales wins this round, looking out of that one eye, the other one completely shut. Sitting duck for that big left hook for Maidana. He cannot see it coming. That was a huge shot, as were the two punches toward the end of the last round. Morales holding on to the degree that he holds on, meaning that he's holding his ground and trying oh. to stay out of harm's way. Thought he's never hook. grabbed the opponent and hold. Thudding left hook to the body from Maidana. And Morales seems to psych him out by not folding. This is one of is going to be one of the indelible images of this year in boxing, Jim. Morales peering out of that one eye, fighting like this against the ferocious Maidana. Remember Hasim Rahman and that giant bruise against Evander Holyfield in Atlantic City? Yes. So against Lennox Lewis, but that one was shredded and bleeding. This one has simply swelled up and has never opened stop, up the bleed. Stop, stop, stop. Maybe a pause in this round. Morales looking tired, maybe a little hurt, and certainly incapacitated by the eye. It's in the round to try to launch one more big shot. It comes the final round. I got a bell for Morales' faint. But Eric couldn't make anything big out of it. Close your eyes. Throw long punches. Don't. It's the last round. Don't fight him in close. Keep him outside. He's coming out real quick, so you got to be ready. You got to throw whatever you got left. We got to knock him out. He... Everybody's seeing you, You're seeing Eric Morales. They all want to see you. He's the greatest fighter in the history of one of North America's toughest towns. He's had six fights in his career against stars like Marco Antonio and Harold Letterman. How does Eric Morales stand as he comes to the 12th round? Okay, Jim. 106, uh, 105 rather, 104, six rounds to five. Eric El Terrible Morales. Jim, I thought he won four rounds in a row, seven, oh. eight, nine, ten. And then in the 11th round, that I started swell badly. Maidana came on, pulled out. This round could easily decide the fight, and so far, Maidana's winning it big. And here comes Morales.
Gonzalez hoping his straighter, cleaner punch of one of these giant thunder shots that Madonna is left. This round, now, this fight crosses over from being special to being something else, I think. Here he comes, trying to marshal his resources oh. one lap time. Big right hand over the top by Morales. Just missed with that one. He's got Maidana back on the defensive. Now here comes the Argentine. Throwing wide, leaving himself uncovered down the middle. And Morales hits him again with a straight right hand shot. Every time Maidana launches, he's winging his arms wide. Morales goes straight down the middle again. Maidana wobbled by a straight right hand. I think it might have been the left jab. Look at the recovery. Morales fighting with a grotesquely swollen eye. Big body shot from Maidana. Oh, you can hear Maidana's thudding shots here ringside. 30 like seconds drum. to go, and there's desperation in both fighters as they try to make their last statements in the fight. What an astonishing show by Eric Morales. And these 20 seconds can decide this fight, Jim. Stop, stop, stop. Win or lose, Morales has proven everyone wrong who criticized the matchup. Unbelievable oh. shot by Madonna, and Morales hangs in. There's another giant shot by Madonna. And the right hand, and another right hand. Last ditch effort to knock Morales out, and the old warrior stands up. But Madonna clearly won the 12th. The old great fighter, the once great fighter indeed, had another great night left in him. Was it enough to get him to win? Eric Morales said he saw something. Apparently he did. I know we certainly did. El Terrible, one last time. Waking up the echoes way more frequently than anyone would have dreamed could be the case. In the last round, Morales landed 11 out of 45. Maidana 25 of 113 punches thrown in the 12th as he unloaded the kitchen trying to knock Morales out. Here are the judges who'll decide the issue. Adelaide Bird, veteran judge, 49 title fights, had Marquez over Katsita 78-74. That's pretty much the book score there. Richard Hauk, not a terribly experienced judge, had Brandon Rios uh, leading Acosta at the time of the Rios KO. Jerry Roth may be the most famous and well-respected of all Vegas judges. 150 title fights, including the book score of 114-111 for Conor over Maidana. Harold, how'd you finish up? I, I thought it was really an incredible performance by Eric Morales. Without question, Marcos Maidana won the last two rounds, no doubt about it. But I gave Eric Morales a lot of those middle rounds. I've got a 114-114, a draw. And again, not an easy fight to score. Many of the middle rounds, very physical, very rough. Quite a number of rounds in which Maidana threw many more punches, but Morales landed more, landed accurately. So what did the judges see? We are about to find out. And now, Michael Buffer standing at ringside with the result. Let's see what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Dick Houck scores the bout. 114, 114 even. Jerry Roth and Adelaide Bird score it. 116 to 112 for the winner by majority decision from Argentina, Marcos El Chino.